I speak with you, Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Welcome back, Lieutenant Williams. Yeah, strange being back, but thanks. Got pretty crazy on the Citadel. What's important is that you made the right choice. You're right. So what I miss on the Normandy? I could send the Lieutenant Commander audio and video footage of recent onboard events. Sure. So your drone collects surveillance footage? Not aboard the Normandy, it shouldn't. I downloaded this data with the AD's full cooperation and knowledge, Doctor. Very well. Just catching up and stuff. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder. Eliminates any local resistance. And for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. <sighs> All seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... <sighs> I want to be here. 
you know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. <sighs> he's presumed. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength and camaraderie. And empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. So use it. That's how I cope. I think about how Earth looked. And how it's gonna look when we get back. Guns blazing the whole galaxy behind us. <laughs> yeah. And my students. Well. Whatever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or... Somewhere. You know, when this war is over... There's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you along, Major. Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Ely Scotch. Commander? Power grid is in the green. Commander? Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. I'm only human, Trainer. Some things are so horrifying that if I think about it for too long, it will consume me. It's best to leave the story for someone else. I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick, no speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny?
James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Shepard. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. And the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And that's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are just a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Mm -hmm.